Chandri Karpati had a vision, LLM OS. So in which LLM is the center of the operating system or the driver of the operating system. So in this video, we're going to use a package called FiData and then try to use a cookbook tutorial that they have put out and then create the same LLM OS. Consider this to be the very, very first version of calculator-ish computer. If LLM OS is going to become true, probably this is going to be the very first version that helps you build and envision what an LLM OS could be. Even before starting anything, I wanted to quickly show you what Andre Karpati actually mentioned and then see how we are going to try to build that. So this is Andre Karpati's vision. So you've got LLM at the center, uh, or you can call it the kernel where uh, everything is being managed. And then you've got RAM, which is the short term memory or uh, the memory in which you handle things. That is your context window in the context of LLMs. Then you've got the disk. In a typical computer, you've got a disk file system and then you've got a bunch of tools then you have got input on output peripheral devices then you've got internet browser and other items like you connect to other LLMs like software pieces and all these things I would like to show you a quick introduction to operating systems this is a book that I think in my university I uh, learned operating system from Andrew Tannenbaum and one of the important thing it says that computers are equipped with a layer of software called operating system whose job is to provide user programs with a better, simpler, cleaner model of the computer to handle managing all the resources mentioned. Operating system is what you're going to read in this book. And then it talks about operating system where you've got the kernel mode and the user mode. Kernel mode is where the operating system operates. It is like the interface between your hardware and everything that sits on the top. And in the user mode is where you connect with all the things like web browser, email reader and music player. So if you take this vision and then compare it with what Anji Karpati mentioned, then you can actually start seeing that, that uh, the kernel mode, the kernel is what the operating system is, what trying to replace with LLMs. And then you have got all these like tools, web browser, email and music player as form of different tools. This is a cookbook code from FiData. FiData is a Python library that helps you create uh, LLM based assistance like agents. But what we are going to do is we're going to use GPT-4 as uh, the core foundation of the LLMs in this case. And that LLM is going to serve as a kernel or uh, the main center of the operating system. And we are going to build or we are going to use what has been built around that. There are going to be a bunch of tools uh, like calculator, files and all the other things. Let me quickly bring it for you. So you can see here that uh, you have got a bunch of tools available here. Calculator, file tools, web search tools, shell tools if you, if you want. You can select different kind of roles here. You can also add stuff to the memory. You can um, retrieve it from that. And you can also clear the knowledge base if you want. For example, I went to that and uh, I asked it to create a research report. It created a research report. I'm using a separate API called EXA for that. And I asked it to save the report and it saved the report. So now it is part of it. So we're going to create, we are going to see how to run this thing. You don't have to necessarily code anything, but also we'll briefly look at the code. Now, what are we going to do? So we need for you to execute this, successfully execute this. There are certain things that you need absolutely. One, you need OpenAI API key. Second, I'm also using the EXA here, uh, which is the EXA API that helps you do uh, search and all the other things. So these are the two API keys that you need and make sure that you add these two API keys in your environment variable. If you are on Mac, do it uh, in your bash profile or wherever you can do it. If you are on Windows, do it as part of your environment variable, however you add it within system. So these two things, you should have done it already before beginning this tutorial. One, open a API key to exa API key. Then the next thing is you need to have Docker installed in your machine. So one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to use PG vector for a uh, for our vector DB. And uh, for that you need a Docker for it to uh, be spun up and then run. So make sure that you have got Docker. And of course, you need Python that is that is <laughs> that is uh, the basic requirement. Now, I can also say that you need a computer that will be a little weird if I say that. So you need a computer, you need Python on it, and then you need to have a Docker and then have these two API keys added to your environment variable with this key. So open AI underscore API key, XA underscore API key. Now, assuming that you are set, well set, what you have to do is open your terminal, whatever terminal that you use. And as you can see here, I've already gotten this setup inside my terminal. Everything is available here. So I'm going to just get out of this. So I'm going to exit this. 
and I'm going to open a new terminal, new window, and I'm going to go inside my documents. Let me do it inside my documents. And uh, I'm going to say first thing first, we need to clone this repo. So we have to copy this link and then say git clone this. Once you git clone, you're going to have this folder inside your documents. And uh, I'm going to go inside the documents. And then I'm going to go inside my cookbook, the cookbook that is available from this repo. So you can go here and see five data cookbook and inside cookbook, you've got LLM OS. So LLM OS. So at this point, you are inside the cookbook, you are inside LLM OS. The next thing that you have to do is you have to install everything, uh, you have to create a virtual environment. So you can copy the command here and then create a virtual environment here. So the virtual environment is to just help you with a better package management if you want to do. Then the next thing is you have to install all the libraries. So this pip install requirement is what you're going to do. pip install r dash r requirements.txt. Once you do that, it is going to install everything. At this point, it has installed everything. So now we have got requirements.install everything. The required files are available and uh, we have uh, successfully activated our virtual environment. The next thing is you, the step that I mentioned, you have already make, made sure that you added the keys inside your environment variable. The next thing is all you have to do is run the PG vector just to make sure that the PG vector gets installed. You need Docker for this. If the Docker is not running, it will throw you an error. So make sure the Docker is running. And the script that helps here is one folder up, up above, I'm saying. So you can just either go there and then just run it. Depending upon how it is easier for you, you can just do it. Dot slash run PG vector. And once you run this, it says there's a daemon conflict because in my case, it is already running. If it is not running in your case, it will not throw you an error. It should ideally work. In my case, if I open my Docker, so it is technically already running. You can see my PG vector is running. So it works fine. So now all we are going to do is we are going to go invoke our LLM OS. So I'm going to clear the screen, go inside LLM OS and then say streamlet run app.py. And at this point, as you can see here, streamlet is run and you can also see the debug information. So we'll do something and then we'll see what happens here. So the GPT 4.0 LLM OS is officially here. So let's start with a very simple information. So we're going to say very simple, nothing, nothing to do with operating system at all. So we're going to just simply say, what is your name? Probably a bad question to ask. And as you can see here, it says the environment variable is not set. That means that my open AI key that I've set as an environment variable is not present here. So I have to go check it in my bash profile. In my case, I've got it in my bash profile and then I have to fix it. So I have to source it from my bash profile. Now let's run this again. And in this case, I want to just say, what is your name? And as you can see, it works fine. There is no issue. I'm called LLM OS, which stands for large language model operating system. Now let's try to invoke a very simple tool. I want to just simply say, what is two plus two? And as you can see, it says running add two, A is equal to two, B is equal to two. And if we see the uh, code, you can see that it has gone to an assistant and uh, it says two plus two is equal to four. How can I assist further? So this is a function calling happening here. Uh, there is uh, there is an operation that is required. The function name is add and what is it? And you can see basically it is invoking the tool and then it is getting it executed. Now let's try to invoke what is happening with web search. I'm going to say what is currently happening in Paris. I should have said France, but let's see if it can actually get as you can see, it is using DuckDuckGo news. For those who are not familiar, DuckDuckGo is a search engine like um, like Google. Uh, and you can see that uh, there is uh, it has managed to get the news. Paris, Paris Olympic live updates, the Olympic blah, 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 something. And then it gives you all the information about what is happening in Paris. 
so the internet search is working fine the calculator is working fine and it has successfully managed to add or invoke these tools as in when we want it and this is the example of what we talked about the kernel operation or the operating systems low level operation so you've got these tools at the top end and this user trying to interact with these tools but the user is interacting through the kernel or user is interacting through this a uh, layer which is the operating system which llm is playing that role in this particular case now let's go one further step and then try to add some knowledge to our existing solution so we have a place to add the knowledge okay let's take a post from sham altman how gpt40 that i don't want to market wish i i what i wish someone had told me cool i'm going to copy the link come back to my browser i'm going to add it and then click add url and once i do that it is going to process the url as you can see here and it is going to add the knowledge how can you see that you can go here and then you can see that it is collecting the document loading the document chunking the document everything that is required to add an additional knowledge is happening here as you can see here and uh, i'm not sure if it has successfully added it but you can see that that process is going on so how all of this is happening i'm going to quickly show you the code and then we are going to briefly see what is happening there so the there are two main files within the cookbook that we are using or the llm os what are the two main files one is an app.py file because this is a streamlit based application you need front end and back end so consider this app.py file to be the main front end there is like back end component but this is where the ui components are designed and all those things but the main thing here the core here is the assistant.py file and as you can see here within the assistant.py file uh, everything is being loaded so there is a file assistant that is being loaded five tools within tools you have got exa the search engine the shell just to execute shell commands calculator duckduckgo yahoo finance and then in terms of llms you have got openai llm you have got a knowledge component within fi you have got an embedder from openai and then you have got a postgres storage to store all the vectorized content that you have got you have got the fi.vectordb.pg vector to store it inside that vector db and it says where the vector db location is and it starts creating all these things for you so all these things go inside this function called get llm os and as you can see it is of the type assistant and you can see all the calculator activities okay you want to add subtract multiply divide exponentiate factorial is prime square root everything goes here then if duckduckgo is being invoked this is what you have to do if shell tools are there then this is what you have to do and then there are different team members or roles that are available one who is the role uh, the role is like a data analyst and then you have got a python assistant then you have got a research assistant and uh, a, for every role you can actually see the kind of instructions that are being given to them for example for an assistant a research assistant role you can see you are a senior new york times researcher tasked with writing a cover story research report instructions for a given report use search exa this is where it knows what function call to make i had to get the top 10 research uh, search result carefully read the results and get a final nyt cover story worthy report in the report format provided below now what is a report format so this is this is like a master class in prompt engineering it's not like you're just here for llm os but you are also learning how to make prompt engineering more efficient multi layered in such a way that you can get everything in the format that you want and here is a markdown format in which you want the report to be and uh, what are the tools that are required the all the uh, in information is there for example let's take an investment assistant for example so write uh, what is the role write an investment report on a given company or stock symbol so you are a senior investment as analyst for goldman sachs tasked with writing an investment report for a very important client and here are the instructions for a given stock symbol get the stock price company information analyst recommendation company news and then you have to go through all these things give me the final one remember this report is very important for a client so the quality of the report is important it is almost like you're threatening or um, you you're talking to an intern and then telling them all this information and then here is how the report uh, structure looks like so let's go ahead and then ask a question about an investment report because you know we read all these things would just 
go here and select a new run um, i'm going to select a new run and ask okay let's let's first ask what did sam altman say about success maybe i think it's not going to come from our knowledge because we didn't add this one okay it's searching knowledge base um cool so the file the website that we wanted it to add to the knowledge base has been successfully added and it in fact searched the knowledge base and got back to the answer got, got back to us with the answer which is very good now i'm going to invoke the investment assistant okay and say can you create a comp any report of tesla maybe so can you create a company report of tesla and now it has been delegated the task is being delegated to the investment assistant and the task description is create an investment report for tesla and it has already managed to pick up the tesla stock the the stock symbol and uh, if we go to the command prompt and you can see all the information what kind of news it is collecting so it is collecting news about um, what Dow Jones said, it is collecting news about, let's say, Tesla just replaced Ford as Morgan Stanley's top pick in the US. And already at this point, like while I'm talking, we already have the report in the given format. And as you can see here, this format is exactly like what we have given here. So for example, we have the core metrics that we want, a current price, 52 week high, 52 week low, P ratio, earnings per share, and all the information financial performance, growth performance, uh, growth prospects, and all these things are here. Core metrics, financial performance. Uh, oh, they've got a negative cash flow. I don't know that. I thought Elon is a very popular guy. So yeah, so what is the recommendation? Recommendation says hold thorough reasoning. Despite a recent market volatility and a stringent PE ratio, Tesla's innovative edge market leadership, particularly blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it supports that you should hold it. Let's say, uh, let, let me ask a question about an Indian stock. Okay, so can you create a report of Zomato? Zomato listed in India. I'm not sure if it will work because this uses Yahoo Finance and uh, I want I want it to, it has, it is trying to get like a stock, um, stock symbol. I'm not sure if it is the exact stock symbol. It might fail as well. So let's see what is going to happen. But I hope you get the entire idea. And again, in this video, we're not actually building our own LLM OS, but uh, oh, it, it has got information. In fact, it got the Indian symbol and uh, we have got current prices 226. Let me quickly just check Zomato stock price. Wow, it's good. It is actually 226. That is nice because it uses Yahoo Finance. Okay, cool. So current price. 52 week high and um, if you're in India, you probably know this is one of the highly discussed stock. Buy, given Doma Zomato's uh, strong financials, diverse revenue streams, positive growth trajectory, it is recommended to buy into the stock. Zomato's expansive market presence in India and strategic diver diversification to quick commerce. I can probably make a video where I take a financial advice from this and then start probably adding it to my portfolio. That'd be fun to play with some money, but uh, I'm not sure if I will be also misleading people. So I'm not sure if I should do or not. But either way, that the LLM OS that Andre Karpati envisioned uh, that uh, we saw at the start of this video, where we have got LLM at the center, at the core of the kernel, uh, very much like your central processing unit with a short term memory RAM, but also you've got the file system in which we are using the PG vector for this. And with the support of tools, uh, currently we don't have any input and output in terms of uh, multimedia like audio and video, but those are not very difficult to enable. Like you can take your camera feed and put it in there. You can take videos and put it in there. You can make this talk. Like if you plug this in with either a open AI's own um, TTS system or 11 labs, it can further do a lot more things then what is just happening? Like you can like probably build your personal Jarvis and then you've got the browser and uh, other systems that you can connect to. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's stunning that we could build this kind of solution and uh, thanks to open source and uh, Phi Data for uh, open sourcing their cookbook, which we can like literally use in a couple of minutes and get the entire setup up and running powered by GPT-4.0. Let me know in the comment section, what do you feel about this LLM OS? This is something that I've been wanting to make for quite a while and uh, I can probably try to build certain blocks on top of it. Let me know what you think, whether this could be 
a future that we might be heading into or this is just a dud see you in another video happy prompting